Ovid, The Metamorphosis, Episode 12, Callisto. Disclaimer, this myth contains adult themes that could be distressing to viewers. Following the destruction of Phaeton's chariot crash, Jupiter began examining the walls of the heavens to see if anything required reparations. But when he realised they were sturdy, he decided to investigate Earth to see if any civilizations needed rebuilding or assistance. Jupiter spent a lot of time assisting Arcadia, and he restored the destroyed fountains and streams, restored the burnt grass, and revived the dead trees so the forest could bloom once more. But Jupiter would frequently see a beautiful nymph called Callisto. She was at Mindalos, a mountain range that was situated in Arcadia. Jupiter was madly attracted to Callisto, the daughter of Lycaon, but Callisto was a devout follower and companion of Diana. Since Diana was a famous virgin, Callisto followed this lifestyle and retained her chastity. As the sun set, Callisto sheltered in the woods. Jupiter, being unable to suppress his sexual urges, realised this was his perfect chance to pursue Callisto without his wife Juno knowing. Jupiter disguised himself as Diana and approached Callisto. Callisto was initially happy to see Diana, but this happiness quickly turned into grief as Jupiter sexually assaulted Callisto without consent. Callisto tried to fight off Jupiter's advances, but was unfortunately unsuccessful. Diana and her group of companions returned from the peaks of Mainalos following a successful hunt and saw Callisto in the grove. Callisto was hesitant to see Diana, as she did not know if it was Jupiter in disguise or the real Diana who could discover Callisto's loss of chastity. Nine months had passed and Diana was accompanied by her group of nymphs when they stumbled upon a beautiful stream. Diana insisted that they all bathe in the relaxing stream, a request that alarmed Callista. Diana and the nymphs bathed in the stream, but Callista was reluctant to join them. Eventually, however, she complied. When Callista lowered her tunic, her pregnancy bump was revealed, to the shock of Diana and the other nymphs. Diana demanded that Callista leave the group as she had broken her promise of chastity. Callista was ordered to leave Diana's presence. After being rejected from Diana's group, Callisto finally gave birth to a healthy boy named Arcus. But Juno had been aware of Jupiter's infidelity with Callisto, and she was waiting for the perfect time to take her anger out on Callisto. Now that Callisto had birthed a child, publicly revealing Jupiter's infidelity, Juno plotted her revenge. Juno began to transform Callisto into a bear, completely altering Callisto's appearance and leaving her with just her mind. Callisto had no choice but to flee into the woodlands where she had to avoid hunters and other bears. Time had passed, and Arcus was now 15 years old, and still unaware of his parentage. He went on a hunt in the woodlands, where he encountered his mother. Callisto was shocked to see her child. Becoming overwhelmed, Callisto began to approach Arcus. But Arcus did not know that he had encountered his mother, and trembled in fear at the sight of a bear. This led to him acting impulsively, attempting to pierce the bear with his spear. Jupiter was observing this, and he intervened to prevent the impending tragedy. Jupiter transformed both Callisto and Arcus into constellations in the heavens, turning Callisto into the Ursa Major, meaning the Great Bear, and Arcus into the Ursa Minor, meaning the Little Bear. Juno was furious, as now an example of Jupiter's cheating had become immortalised in the heavens, constantly reminding her of the disrespect she received from her husband. Juno visited the Titans, Tethys and Oceanus. These were two old titans that the gods treated with respect. Oceanus was the father of river gods, and had the incredible title of being the stream that encircled the globe. Similarly, Tethys was the mother of rivers and water nymphs. Juno expressed her anger at the constellations, and stated that she was embarrassed to be constantly reminded of her husband's lack of faithfulness. Firstly it was Io, and now it was Callista. Juno pleaded with the titans, begging that the Ursa Major and Ursa Minor would not enter their waters. This was because Juno did not want another love rival to be rewarded any more than she already had. The Titans agreed. Legacy of the story. In 1610, Galileo discovered that the planet Jupiter has four moons. They are named after lovers that Jupiter captured. Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa. The Ursa Major has the asterism, that being a small grouping of stars that do not make up one of the 88 modern constellations the Big Dipper. Similarly, the Ursa Minor has the asterism, the Little Dipper. The Greeks believe that Arcus was transformed into a star named Arcturus. This star is the brightest star in the constellation Bootes. The Big Dipper also appears on the state flag of Alaska. Also on the flag is Polaris, the brightest star in the Ursa Minor.